Hi, this is an example of an off by one error that I encountered recently at work. So here's what we've got. We've got a little Python file called serverping.py. And as a little bit of background, what we have at work is a large number of servers, um, some of which are sequentially ordered. So for example, web server one, web server two, web server three, et cetera, et cetera. And we had a situation where sometimes we would get a server dot that would uh, get hung or die for some reason. So we have a small script that goes through and basically pings those servers in sequential order. And uh, that ping is meant to either uh, confirm that it is live or send a signal to another system to have it restart. And let's take a look at what this code would look like. So. It's a very simple script. Uh, we basically just have a uh, ping function, which takes in the server number. Um, this function is just uh, very simple to just explain or to just, uh, you know, uh, show what would happen when the server get function gets called. It doesn't actually ping anything because that's not really the important part here. So instead, what we do is we just say what server we're checking, and then we just return true. Um, that, that function is called by this one, check servers. And all this is is a infinite loop. It just, uh, while true, it loops through um, the range of one to 10, pings the servers, and then when it's done with that, it will sleep for a few seconds, specifically four, and then repeats. So um, range is a built-in Python function, and all it does is produce a range of numbers. So. Let's go ahead and run this and show you what it would look like. So we do Python server ping, and we see it went one through nine, and then it's sleeping for a few seconds, and then it repeats. So we expected the repeating thing, but we were wanting one through 10. So uh, we're kind of off by one. Let's go take a look at the function and see what's going on in there. So, okay. First off, this isn't a bug, but I do want to point it out. Up here at the top of the file, we have number of servers equals 10. So we've kind of defined a constant, but yet we don't actually use that one uh, anywhere in the code. So that's a little bit of a code smell. Um, if you see that in your code, you should probably consider changing it uh, because you don't want to be putting in magic numbers because right here inside this check servers, we're like, okay, in the range of one to 10. Well, what is 10? We don't know. Um, or also if we had a uh, different number of servers defined for our web front end versus some processing boxes versus some kind of proxy machines, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, back to the topic. So we're saying for X in range one comma 10, and that looks like it would be correct. And the developer who wrote this, um, this was one of their first Python programs they had written, and they came from a Ruby slash JavaScript background, and they were not familiar with this built-in range function. Well, in Python, it's not one to 10 inclusive. It's one through 10, or one through N and N minus one. So in this case, it's actually going one through nine, which is what we saw when we were running the code. So if we change this to be 11, and then go back and run the code again, we see instantly checking servers one through 10. I'm sleeping for a few seconds and then it repeats. So um, we go back in here and look at this. So the key thing here is that we were off by one because we were expecting range to go one to 10 and it is not inclusive like that. It is actually one to 11. Now to fully correct this, this is what we should do. We should put number of servers, uh, you know, reference our constant. And then up here, we would also change this to be 11. And that would produce a more correct result. So hopefully this has been kind of useful to demonstrate what a off by one error looks like in Python. It's very easy to get um, to have this happen. You know, it's just, if you don't know what's going on, that's a very real possibility. I see this in other languages where people will say like a for loop in C or JavaScript, where they say for, you know, X equals zero, X less than some number, X plus plus. And, you know, they've left off, they've forgotten that they're either counting from zero instead of one, or they're just not going all the way to the end of the, um, the array like they're expecting, so. 
Hope this was very useful. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.